Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about analyzing the toolkit functions for increasing or decreasing intervals. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. All right. So let's go start with this, okay? We have our function, and we have the increasing and decreasing uh, when that happens, and our example, okay? So we're going to go through the library of functions there, the base functions. So our constant function, f of x equals c. That function is neither increasing nor decreasing, and it's basically just a horizontal line. All right? This is kind of a constant the whole time, hence the name. Number two here, the second one here, is the identity function, f of x equals x. That function is always increasing. So we can see that an example there is just always increasing, going up forever and ever, the identity function. A quadratic function, all right, the base function f of x equals x squared, is increasing on the interval from 0 to positive infinity. It is decreasing from negative infinity to 0, and it has a local or a, a minimum at x equals 0, okay? So we see the little minimum there at x equals 0. All right, next round of functions. A cubic function. The cubic function f of x equals x to the third power is always increasing, okay? So it's increasing forever right there, going up. <clears throat> the reciprocal function, f of x equals 1 over x, that function is decreasing on the interval from negative infinity to 0 and from 0 to infinity. We have a vertical asymptote right there at x equals 0, but notice that it's always decreasing. Okay, It's from left to right, it's always going decreasing, then we have an asymptote, and then again, it's always increase, or decreasing. The reciprocal squared is a little different. We have f of x equals 1 over x squared, and that function's increasing from negative infinity to 0 and decreasing from 0 to positive infinity. Our last set of examples here are, this is the cube root function first. f of x equals the third root of x. That function is always increasing, and we can see that graph right there. So it's always increasing from left to right. The square root function, f of x equals the square root of x, is increasing on the interval from 0 to infinity. Okay, notice it doesn't, it's not technically increasing right at the end point of 0 there, but just to the right of it. That, notice the parentheses there. The absolute value function here, f of x equals the absolute value of x, is increasing on the interval from 0 to infinity, and is decreasing on the interval from negative infinity to 0 again. Notice at 0 itself, it's neither increasing nor decreasing. Okay? So I hope you learned something here about the basic toolkit functions and when they're increasing and decreasing and what the intervals are. If you did learn something, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math, minute math, minute math, when you need help, you use Minute Math, minutemathtutor.com.